In this video, we're going to talk about stress, the type of stress that's on words, not on people. You're familiar with stress from English, whether you know it or not. Compare these two words, photo and photography. You can see that the stress in the first one is on the first O, photo, whereas the second one is on the second O, photography. It's where the most emphasis is placed. And you notice how photo, the first O sounds like an O, whereas in the second example, the first O, photography, has kind of changed its sound since it's unstressed. Russian has something like this as well. Listen to these words and see that you can understand where the stress is. Можно. Окно. Четыре. Телевизор. And notice that the vowels, when they're unstressed, sound a little bit different. We'll talk about this in more detail soon. But listen, можно. The first O sounds very O, round-like, whereas можно is more like an O. Окно. Listen to the ye in четыре, the first ye. It sounds more like E. And телевизор. Девять. Notice how the ya sounds different. Десять. Россия. The most important thing about stress is that you pay attention to it when you listen and when you speak. Your textbook will mark the stress, but you'll notice that in other Russian texts, and sometimes when I write, the stress is not written in. When you learn a new word, you should learn where its stress is. Usually, one-syllable words are assumed to be stressed. You should also know that the letter yo is always stressed, so the stress will not be marked on yo. Unlike English, which sometimes has two stresses in a word, a main and a secondary stress, Russian will have only one stress per word, no matter how long the word is. Listen to these sentences now. Listen for the stresses. Как вас зовут? Меня зовут Жанна. Listen to these words and see if you can hear where the stress is. Familia. It means last name. Obviously, it's related to the word family, but notice that family, while it's stressed on the first syllable, familia is stressed on the second syllable. Бабушка. Here the stress is on the first syllable. Can you hear it? Бабушка. How about понятно? Where's the stress? Понятно. It's on the second syllable. Бабушка, of course, means grandmother. Понятно means understood. Where's the stress? Словар. Словар. It's on the second syllable here on the A. Ah. How about Karandash. Karandash. On the third A ah in this word, pencil. Karandash. Slavar is dictionary. How about orchestra? Orchestra. Patronymic. On the first syllable. Kanyeshna. Kanyeshna. Of course. On the second syllable. Normalna. Normalna. Second syllable. Obviously, this is related to the English word normal, but whereas normal is stressed on the first syllable, normalna. And this will happen pretty often with Russian words that are like English words. They'll be stressed in a different place. How about clothing? Adjezda. Adjezda. On the ye. Now try these longer words and phrases. Спасибо большое. Thank you very much. Big thanks. Спасибо большое. Try очень приятно. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Пожалуйста. Пожалуйста. 
Молодец. Great job. Don't be stressed. You already finished the lesson on stress. Can you hear where the stress is in this word that means good job? Молодец.